Okay, a return to simplicity with episode 38. Das and I both agreed we wanted to do something current, so we scoured the news aggregators for a likely story. This one suckered us in because it involves an actual phone call, so it's, you know, literally a bad call. The script came about pretty organically. Das and I sat down for about an hour improvising dialogue, trying out characters and directions, and when we had all that nailed down, I slammed out the script, and then we pretty much got straight to the filming. You've probably noticed by now that I'm a bit of a sucker for wordplay, and for me, this one's absolutely about the comedy derived from the repetition of the word ass, and the ironic connotations it comes to have by the end of the episode. Because it's completely dialogue driven, the editing rhythm was really important, so that was where most of the time in post-production went. That process of trial and error to discover exactly when was best to bring a line in over another. Oftentimes it really came down to fractional differences, you know, there'd often be one frame between timing that worked and timing that didn't. And the more dialogue I edit, the more that proves the case. I've been accused in the past of editing too quickly, and this app's not going to do anything to help that reputation, but I think this one really benefits from a brisk cadence. You get the sense that Dave has a lot to get off his chest and Hank's role as his little offsider and enabler shines through in his willingness to encourage Dave to crap on so much. It also makes it a little funnier, a little uh, more poignant, I guess, in a weird way when at the end Hank has to try to suddenly get Dave to shut up. So I think this episode for what it is, is very focused and very complete because it's very much about how people's compulsions to talk get us in trouble. Again, this is all reading deeply and two minutes of online video probably doesn't warrant that sort of dissection, but also it's all there if you care to look and if you're watching a commentary in the first place. I imagine you're the kind of person who does care to look, for which you have my undying love. Smiley face. I'm not sure if anything untoward ended up happening to Dave. I doubt the police would have bothered charging him with any drug-related offenses, and from what I read, the maximum penalty in North Carolina for the misuse of a 911 call uh, is a fine of only 100 bucks, so any consequences aren't going to be substantial. And I'm interested to know what you guys think about that, because we're usually hew to bad decisions that have fairly large implications. How do you guys feel about the small-scale bad calls? Do you think they should qualify? Let us know. We always love to hear your thoughts. One last thing, and a bit of a plug. Sorry. Uh, we've recently begun work on a new pretty ambitious project which we'll be launching on another channel later this year. It's a limited series of short action films with the working title Toy Fair, so called because we're using toy weapons as props rather than photo real weapons. So Nerf videos essentially, but trust me, you haven't seen Nerf videos quite like these before. The whole conceit's very gimmicky of course, but it's been a lot of fun so far and even though they're toy weapons, the damage they do to the characters within the Toy Fair universe very real. So there'll be plenty of bloodshed for those who want it. So we'll be launching that in August of this year to mark BCTV's one year anniversary. I do hope you'll give them a look when the time comes. And also, if any of you are members of a community you think might be interested in videos like that, a nerf group, modders, people like that, uh, and wouldn't mind helping us reach out to them to let them know what we're doing, please let me know in the comments or inbox us. Our undying appreciation will be yours. Smiley face. As ever, you glamorous creatures, thanks for watching.